Welcome to another edition of Bogosity, where we debunk everything that is fake, fraudulent, or just plain stupid. And boy, do they get stupid. Just when you think you've seen it all, creationism, the moon hoax, the friggin' Bible code. And you think, man, they cannot possibly come up with anything stupider. Someone comes along and does. Enter the subject of this week's episode, the law of attraction. The law of attraction is the incredibly dopey idea that thoughts and feelings can manifest themselves physically. Think good thoughts and good things happen. Negative thoughts and feelings make bad things happen. Think I'm making that up? Then check out this stupid movie, The Secret. Hear it for yourself. The secret is the law of attraction. Everything that's coming into your life, you are attracting into your life. And it's attracted to you by virtue of the images you're holding in your mind. It's what you're thinking. You see, whatever is going on in your mind, you're attracting to you. We all work with one infinite power. We all guide ourselves by exactly the same laws. I don't care if you're in India, if you're in Australia, New Zealand, Stockholm or London, or Toronto or Montreal or New York. We're all working with one power, one law. It's attraction. And who discovered this great law? I couldn't believe all the people who knew this. They were the greatest people in history. Wait, wait, wait. Einstein? Einstein? Man, Einstein was upset enough at the people who kept saying he believed in God. Can you imagine how ticked off he'd be if he'd heard people putting this garbage in his mouth? Of course, Einstein did believe that there was one law that governed the universe, but he didn't know what it was. In fact, he spent the rest of his life searching for it, literally to the day he died. All of that hard work, all of that obsession over something he already knew that had been passed down for thousands of years? Why would he do all of that? Was it just part of the cover-up? And why cover this up? Why not release it and win another Nobel Prize? So what does this secret do for us anyway? Do you know this secret gives you everything you want? Happiness, health, and wealth. Now wise people have always known that. You can go right back to the ancient Babylonians. Oh yeah, they were the bastions of science and reason. They've always known this. It's a small select group of people. Why do you think that 1% of the population earns around 96% of all the money that's being earned? Do you think that's an accident? It's no accident. No, it's not an accident. It's economics. Only he's got his figures wrong. It's really only about 40%. And that's because they play the biggest role in the economy, investing in the businesses, creating the jobs and opportunities that are the very reason everyone else gets to make money too. Well, that and the fact that our government's inflating our fiat currency in order to run national debts that unfairly favor the politically connected corporations who get to use the new money first, but that's a subject for a different video. So when you're looking at that thing you want and you're saying yes to it, you're activating a thought. And the law of attraction is responding to that thought and bringing you things that match that. It always works. It works every time with every person. Oh man, the stupidity is making my head swell here. Okay, I'll give it a try. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I wanted a Motorola Razr V3i with iTunes, and this is a Motorola Razr V3i without iTunes! Oh no, wait, it, it does have iTunes. Never mind. You see law of attraction evidenced in your society when you see that the one who speaks most of illness has it. When you see that the one who speaks most of prosperity has it. Oh, the stupidity. Can't take it. Head swelling too much. Of course someone who's ill is going to be talking a lot about their illness. What would you expect? 
And sure, someone who prospers is going to be talking a lot about the things he has and does. They talk about these things because they have them, not the other way around. Now, if you don't understand it, doesn't mean you should reject it. You don't understand electricity, probably. First of all, no one even knows what electricity is. Bogus. Electricity is the force delivered by photons, which are generated as a result of a variance in charge between electrons and protons when connected via a conductor. See, and I didn't even use Wikipedia. If I think of myself as a magnet, and I know that a magnet will attract to it. Very basically put, the law of attraction says that like attracts like. Except that with electromagnetism, like doesn't attract like. It repels like. It's opposites that attract. And, of course, the big difference is that you can actually observe electricity and make valid predictions based on it. Now, when someone builds a secret O law of attraction O meter, then maybe we'll sit down and talk. This movie doesn't really get into it, but a lot of people hawking the law of attraction rely on quantum physics for support. The idea is that, since elementary particles behave differently based on how they're observed, so do the things around us. But what they don't understand is that quantum mechanics works like this because elementary particles are probabilistic. But as they make larger structures, such as atoms and molecules, the probabilities converge on either 0 or 100 percent, and it becomes deterministic. The effect goes away and relativity takes over. Sorry, but the science for the law of attraction just isn't there. You know, you're going to immediately say, I didn't attract the car accident. I didn't attract this particular client. I didn't uh, particularly attract the debt. I didn't uh, attract whatever it happens to be that you're complaining about. And I'm here to be a little bit in your face and to say, yes, you did attract it. And I'm here to be a lot in your face, Joe Vitel, MSCD, Bogus doctor of bogus metaphysics. Who the hell are you going around telling people that something that isn't their fault is? Don't you have a conscience? If someone is hit by a drunk driver, it didn't happen because he attracted it. It happened because some stupid drunk decided to get behind the wheel. Does anyone really believe this crap? This law of attraction is becoming despicable as well as stupid. Oh... Uh... So stupid. We've known in the healing arts of a placebo effect. A placebo is something that supposedly has no impact and no effect on the body, like a sugar pill or something. You tell the patient that this is just as effective. And what happens is the placebo has the same effect, if not greater effect, than sometimes the medication is supposed to be designed for that effect. Wrong, 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 wrong! In fact, a medication can only be put on the market if it performs better than a placebo. The placebo effect is what's known as a nonspecific effect, meaning that the healing cannot be tied to the treatment. The reason for the placebo controls is that the act of taking a pill, whether it's medicine or sugar, might make the patient misinterpret what he's feeling. It's a form of selection bias. He might tend to focus more on the way he's doing better. The treating physician can do this as well, even subconsciously. This is why studies are double-blinded. Neither the patient nor the physician can know whether or not the patient is taking the medicine being tested or a placebo. Now there is a real effect with the placebo and with positive thinking with regards to healing, simply because the person doesn't stress out so much about it. Stress isn't very restful, and it can cause someone to lose sleep and both rest and sleep are necessary for effective healing. But this isn't any kind of mystical mumbo-jumbo about universal forces. This is simply avoiding something that's counterproductive. But it can work the other way, too. Imagine someone with arthritis is given a placebo, and they think their arthritis is better, and now they go out and they start dancing, and they do things that's just going to make it worse. That's the flip side of the placebo effect. In fact, Studies have shown that there is no justification for using placebos outside of controlled clinical trials. 
and even in cases of psychosomatic illnesses, placebos are still rejected since really they're just enforcing a delusion. These law of attraction nuts say that it'll always result in something good, but they're just wrong. In each case, a placebo is used, in each case they're visualizing getting better, and in each case the law of attraction doesn't do squat. To see what I'm talking about, listen to this woman's inspiring story. On November 23rd, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I saw myself as if cancer was never in my body. One of the things I did to heal myself was to watch very funny movies. That's all we would do is just laugh, laugh, laugh. We couldn't afford to put any stress in my life because we knew stress was one of the worst things you can do while you're trying to heal yourself. From the time I was diagnosed, which was November 23rd, to the time I was healed totally was approximately three months. And that's without radiation and chemotherapy.